Luffy ready to take on a Yonko, Big Mom, Kaido, Shanks, and Blackbeard? Is Luffy ready to take on any of these members or any of these Yonko? So I'm the one Straw Hat. Let's get right into this video and discuss if Luffy is ready. <laughs> Now, we're not going to only be talking about Luffy, we're going to be talking about the Straw Hat Pirates and Luffy as well. So, Luffy, let's take a look at his power level. Luffy has some great feats. He's defeated Do Flamingo, Cracker, and Katakuri. Uh, Cracker being a Yonko commander and Katakuri being his greatest uh, feat, uh, right-hand man of Big Mom Pirates. Do Flamingo, we don't know how his power stands compared to those, but we could say he's around, he's between Katakuri and Cracker. I assume he's stronger than Cracker, but under Katakuri. Now, the reason why um, Luffy had trouble with Cracker wasn't because he was weak. It's because Cracker had a different fighting style than Luffy. His army hockey was very tough for Luffy to break. But in Tankman, we saw Luffy was able to one-shot him. And now people are now Luffy has gotten even stronger than he was before because now he has Snake Man and he also has the ability to see into the future. So I see him on level of Katakuri or even a, a bit above Katakuri. I can see him giving Katakuri... A beat down. He's given Katakuri a beat down already, but I can see him winning Katakuri, so that puts him a little bit above Katakuri. Now, how strong is Katakuri in comparison in comparison to the Yonko? We know the Yonko. We've heard about them since the beginning of One Piece. Since we got into this uh, show, we've heard about them. Uh, I think Garp mentioned them to us. The four strongest pirates. That's what the level Luffy has to reach. Now, Luffy is top Yonko commander level. Now, what top? Usually, the captain doubles the second man. We've seen that with a lot of crews. Luffy was doubling Zoro in bounty, but in strength it was kind of different because Luffy and the Straw, the Straw Hat's dynamics works different than other pirate crews' dynamics. Big Mom is a tank. The, all the Straw Hats wouldn't be able to do a single bit of damage, but Katakuri on the other hand, Luffy was able to take him down with ease. With ease. Well, not with ease, but like he had, he could still take him down. Uh, Big Mom, they're not going to be able to do it. There's, they're probably... Uh, I'm gonna say if Luffy was there to help, they would probably damage her. They would probably damage her now, uh, especially we see how strong Luffy is. Luffy in Gear 4 didn't even phase Big Mom. It didn't phase Big Mom, but we know now that Luffy could see into the future. He has other forms like Snake Man and Tank Man. Uh, he might even have another form, uh, but that's a video for another day. Well, I think I've already made a video about that. You guys can go check. So, Luffy, will he be able to take on Big Mom as of now? Luffy right now, with him being able to see into the future... His army hockey being very strong and his conquerors hockey not being his conquerors hockey still needs work. Will he be able to take on Big Mom? I'm gonna have to say no, not yet. Luffy is not the uh, level of a Yonko yet. He's yes, he's top Yonko commander level. That's and that's that's a feat of its own. That's something that not even I would say that's Admiral level. That's probably near Admiral level or Admiral level at most. If you give Big Mom a fight, I could see Luffy giving Big Mom a fight, especially now. He, he would give Big Mom a fight. And um, not probably not a run for her money, but he would probably damage her and hurt her uh, a good amount. We know Luffy doesn't have his awakening yet. That could be the next step towards Luffy's uh, power progression. Katakuri had awakening and he still lost Luffy. So we know Luffy's strong and he doesn't even have his awakening yet. Once this man gets his awakening, he will get a boost in power. We've seen what you could do with awakening, and what Luffy's going to be able to do is even more, even is even much more crazy because he we know Luffy as a creative person and he's had his Delphi for a very long time the longer you've had your Delphi the better you are the more used to it you are so I could see if Luffy awakens his Delphi now then he would be insane now let me tell you this have you noticed this, that every person that everybody that we know that has awakened their Delphi so I'm talking about Doflamingo and Karakuri those are the two fact uh, people that we know that have awakened their Delphi so I'm not I'm not counting the people that have impelled down they're all above Luffy's age. They're all above their 30s. They're all pretty... They're not old, but in the One Piece world, but they're like, they have years of experience on them. Now, what is the reason for this? Why are they... Why is... Oda didn't do this on purpose. You can't just awaken your Delphi right when you get it. It takes years and years and years of training. You've had to have had your Delphi for a very long time. No one can just come, get a Delphi and awaken it. That's why Luffy was given his Delphi as a kid. Since he had it as a kid, he's had it for a very long time. Ever since he was a child, he's had his Delphi. So he, if he away, he's gonna be able to awaken it now because he's had it for a very long time. You're not gonna see someone that just got their Delphi recently, like Sabo, being able to awaken it in the next couple episodes. We probably won't even see Sabo's awakening in One Piece at all because 
that's something for the future for Sabu. That's not something he will be able to awaken now. Luffy, on the other hand, has had his Delphi for a very long time, and he's also very creative with it. He invented very, he invented various techniques like gear fourth, gear uh, second, and the gear third. Now these techniques are you have to be very creative and um, especially in building your hockey with it. Nothing less of sheer genius for Luffy. Now Luffy's awakening. I already made a video about it in my last uh, last week's video. You guys should go check that out. This is what I, that's what I think is gonna what he's gonna be able to do. He's gonna be able to mess with gravity. If you guys want the full uh, video. It was last week, you guys can go find it. It was literally the week before this week. So I think I made it in the first week of April 2018. You guys can go find that if you're watching this in the future. But not speaking of that video. So will Luffy be able to take on a Yonko when he awakens? Now let's talk about that. Um Maybe. That's that's a maybe. We don't depends on which Yonko. Big Mom, I'm gonna say maybe he can. Blackbeard right now, maybe because we don't we haven't seen much of Blackbeard, but if we go with Blackbeard of what we've seen of Blackbeard with the Guru Guru no Mi and the Yami Yami no Mi, I could say he could take him on. He could take on Blackbeard. Kaido is something on a completely different level and Shanks is something on another level of that as well. He's in, they're, they're both in their own leagues. Yes, the Yonko are all very equal and very close to each other in power, but there are small and very small pockets of air and pockets of gaps, so there are very different levels. No one's the same. Now, would Luffy be able to be Big Mom? And with his awakening, I would say this would more likely be a tie. Maybe not even a tie. Maybe Big Mom would still win. What would Luffy have to gain for him to actually defeat one of these Yonkos? To take down one of these Yonkos? He would have to get Advanced Armament and Advanced Conquerors. Maybe not Conquerors, maybe Advanced Armament and Awakening would do him fine. But with Advanced Armament, he would be another step ahead. And with Advanced... I mean, not Advanced Armament... With Awakening, he would be able to take her on and defeat her. Kaido, on the other hand, actually, I see him being able to beat Big Mom with Awakening, and then he would need the advanced versions of others, the other two hockey to defeat Kaido and Shanks. That's what I actually see. Now, for Blackbeard, we're not gonna fight Blackbeard now. We're gonna wait until Luffy's at the end of his journey. Luffy at his strongest, at his prime, at his Pirate King level. Now, that Luffy, that Luffy would be able to take on Blackbeard. Now, what is that Luffy gonna have? He's gonna have Awakened though, through. He's gonna be have mastery. He's gonna have a new gear, gear fifth possibly, and we're gonna see all of gear four, advanced armament, advanced um, observation, and advanced conquerors. We're gonna see those, and what else will he have? His crew. Luffy, Luffy's biggest strength was the people that followed him. Mihawk even stated this in Marine Ford that his biggest strength is his ability to create alliances. We've seen him create alliances with Beige, with Law, and with other people that we're going to see in the future. Now, Luffy at Pirate King level is probably the strongest pirate, and that's when he's able to take on all the Yonko, including Kaido and Shanks. Now, the other two Yonko, he probably just needs his awakening, and he'll be able to take them on. That's what I see Luffy being in. Right now, he's Admiral level, decent Admiral level, and that's the power scaling of Luffy. This video is pretty much a power scaling video, and I made a, two of these, but I haven't, um, I haven't made... Uh, people say I'm pretty good at power scaling. I don't know. I've heard that in my school, uh, especially when I debate with my friends, so I'm pretty good at power scaling, in my opinion. I might be shit compared to you, but... I don't know. So that's it for the video, guys. If you guys enjoyed it, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. And we're going to be coming out with more One Piece videos every week. And My Hero Academia every Saturday because My Hero Academia is out. So if you guys haven't seen my My Hero Academia video, check that out. And I'm out. <laughs>